If someone had asked us if we were pro or against nuclear power plants, we would have certainly answered we are against. Such a prejudice existed because several families in our city, Augusta, hosted children coming from Belarus after the Chernobyl disaster at the end of the 80s. In fact, Augusta is a town by the seaside and it has been chosen for some children exchange summer programs as it has been demonstrated that living for two or three months near the sea decreases the percentage of radiation in human body of 30%. Despite our negative ideas about nuclear plants, thanks to the NN project, we totally changed our point of view. According to a 2013 NASA study, nuclear energy has prevented around 1.8 million deaths. Of course, the nuclear waste is really toxic, but it's usually stored somewhere. Instead, the toxic byproducts of fossil fuels are pumped into the air we breathe every day. If we can choose between lots of dangerous stuff being put into a deep hole and lots and lots and lots of dangerous stuff being pumped into the atmosphere, the first conclusion seems more logical. So, just by reducing the amount of fossil fuels burned, countless cases of cancer or lung disease will be avoided. Even if you include the death number from nuclear accidents, nuclear energy ranks less in death per energy unit produced. Due to a few catastrophic events though, nuclear energy feels way more dangerous. Even in the best case scenario, we would take at least 40 years to switch to 100% renewable energy. So, for as long as we continue using fossil fuels, nuclear energy will save way more lives than it destroys. Maybe one day technology will solve the issues regarding nuclear waste disposal and dangerous power plants abandonment. The nuclear reactors we've used so far mostly follow outdated technological staples since nuclear innovation stopped in the 70s. There are models though, such as the thorium reactor, that could solve the problem altogether. Thorium as an element in nature has several advantages over the other energy sources. It is abundant really hard to turn into nuclear weapons and up to two orders of magnitude less wasteful than current nuclear reactors. The thorium waste might also be only dangerous for a few hundred years, in contrast to the current radioactive waste, whose dangerous state lasts for over a couple of thousand years. We don't know for sure if thorium technology paired with other types of alternative nuclear sources will keep its promises. But nothing stops us from keeping on trying to advance instead of foregoing the question. It may not be easy, but if everything goes well, the reward is high and all humanity can benefit from it. So the question is, should we use nuclear energy then? The answer is up to us. We'll have to work to find the optimal solution. And almost definitely, we'll need to overcome some risks in order to achieve success. Nuclear energy is not and cannot be considered only as a power source. In fact, it has been used in other fields. Nuclear medicine, for example, was introduced shortly after radioactivity was discovered. And after 50 years of experience and practice, it plays a key role in the evolution of medicine. While nuclear medicine techniques are routinely employed with high quality and safety standards, the discipline itself remains complex and needs to be carefully explained. The usefulness of such techniques is testified by the 60 million procedures performed worldwide on a yearly basis.